Today, the former president is in New York again for closing arguments in a civil fraud trial. However, he won't be allowed to deliver his own closing argument like he wanted to. The judge overseeing the case was initially going to let Trump speak if he agreed to certain conditions. But he and Trump's lawyers could not reach an agreement by yesterday's deadline. Our Robert Costa is here with us now in New York for the closing arguments in Trump's civil fraud trial, which he is attending. Uh, so, Bob, what do we expect today and why is this case you know, so important for Donald Trump that he's, he's showing up? He has been showing up. Good morning. For former President Donald Trump, this ongoing civil fraud trial is deeply personal. Based on my conversations with Trump associates, this is a trial where his business, the Trump Organization, is on the line. And if it proceeds as it has been in this civil fraud trial, his business could be liable for hundreds of millions of dollars in penalties. Uh, you have Trump being accused by the state of New York, the Attorney General Letitia James, of persistent and repeated fraud falsifying business records, conspiracy to falsify more records or issue false statements, also to be part of a conspiracy to issue false financial statements and engage in insurance fraud, among other alleged civil charges. And so you have Trump facing all of these legal charges across the board, but he keeps showing up in lower Manhattan in this case because he believes the Trump organization and the millions of dollars he's made over the years from the, his real estate business is so tied to his political brand. And some of his advisors also tell me he sees these legal appearances as somewhat of a political stage, that he's able to talk to reporters, make statements, sit in the courtroom and glare at the judge, but also try to craft his own narrative about these proceedings. All right, so this is one of four uh, legal issues, uh, cases that the former president is dealing with. The other one that we've been talking a lot about recently is in D.C. It has to do with the 2020 election and his alleged meddling in the 2020 election. You have new reporting about that case and, and Trump's concerns over people talking with Jack Smith. Yes, so while Trump is in New York today focused on the civil fraud trial, Many people in former President Donald Trump's orbit are increasingly concerned about special counsel Jack Smith and his investigation of January 6th. They're concerned because they know by talking to different friends and former Trump advisors that many different people, dozens of people, are now cooperating at a high level with the special counsel, providing documents and testimony. And Jack Smith is, he's no joke when it comes to a criminal investigation. He's the special counsel overseen the Justice Department's investigations into Trump at a federal level. He's a former chief prosecutor at The Hague, a former acting U.S. attorney. And you have in Jack Smith someone who's collecting diary entries from people like former Vice President Mike Pence. He's getting journals from different uh, aides at the White House. He's getting phone logs. He's getting different memos that were passed around by lawyers like John Eastman, the conservative lawyer who worked with Trump to overturn the election. All of this is going to be part of the, the witness docket and the evidence that's mounting against Trump ahead of this trial. Hmm. Very fascinating. Uh, Bob, thank you very much. Thank you.